Hi there, I wanted to share this with you. I took this video with my uh, ZI8 camera in uh, close-up mode and um, I used a spherical mount um, to hold the camera and the idea of the uh, camera mount is that it holds the camera a fixed distance away from the object and as you move the camera through the various angles so it maintains that uh, fixed point so you're focusing on a uh, uh, a spot um, in the center of the mount I'll show you the mount at the end of the video but uh, it allows you to hold the camera and get uh, close-ups even when you've got a, a very narrow depth of field um, I'm still playing with it so I haven't quite mastered it yet and uh, the uh, greater the magnification the more difficult it is to set up but uh, I thought it could achieve some interesting effects so, uh, so I just thought I'd share it with you this is a l little uh, spherical camera mount that I've made for myself and uh, I don't know if you can see in the image there but the plant is staying in the center of the screen so as I move the camera around this distance from the lens to the plant remains the same I've got the camera on the close-up my camera has a focal length in the close-up mode of five and three quarter inches so I'm having to keep the plant five and three quarter inches uh, from here to here from the lens down and on the center line here so each of the three axes uh, the, the plant is centered at uh, the intersection of those three axes As I say, I'm still getting used to this. I uh, yeah, got out of bed at five o'clock this morning as it was on my mind to make it. So I started cutting metal fairly early and I've uh, just been having a bit of fun with it. Um, all right, and uh, this is uh, Brian, uh, the, uh, the pet snail. And uh, there, there he is in all his glory. Um, I teach him to fly later over that edge <laughs> um, but uh, anyway that's the uh, camera mount and you can see that there are two axes that the camera can move on and in each case the distance from the lens to the snail remains at five and three quarter inches or thereabouts uh, so the camera moves in uh, uh, a sphere or around the outside of a, uh, a sphere with the the snail at the epicenter anyway I hope you found that interesting uh, here's some other shots I took this morning um, I or oh, I will show you um, the construction of uh, of the metal work uh, so I'll run that on at the end the aluminium that I used uh, for the arms is three millimeters thick that's about an eighth of an inch I cut the first arm so that it tapers from one and three quarter inches at the widest end down to around one and a quarter inches wide at the narrow end I bent that arm through 90 degrees round a two inch diameter bar of uh, stainless steel I cut the second arm so that it's uh, two and three quarter inches at the widest end and one and three quarter inches wide at the narrow end and again that was bent through 90 degrees uh, round the uh, two inch diameter bar this is a little bracket that actually holds the camera haven't drilled the holes in it yet um, but I've arranged for this to be bolted onto the first arm and I have it so that I can turn it round 
so as I can effectively make the first arm left or right handed. Uh, if you make one for yourself you'll soon understand uh, what I mean by that. This is the bolt that goes through the camera bracket and I've modified a quarter width bolt by filing away some of the threads so that uh, that allows the bolt to remain captive in the bracket when I take the camera off and uh, the little wing nut is used to uh, lock the camera down in position. Here you can see on the right I've got the camera bracket fixed and uh, say so I can swing that round so as I can make that bracket left or right handed uh, with those two brass bolts there and I'm starting to shape the ends of the arms. I cut two large uh, washers out of a cornflake packet to uh, fit between the arms and uh, I bolt them together and uh, I use a lock nut but I arrange it so that the bolts are not tight as if the arms are fixed together too tight then you get a juddering action rather than a smooth swivel action. In order to get the correct focal length of five and three quarter inches from my camera to the uh, next uh, axis point I needed a uh, 44 degree angle on that little bracket. I worked that out by trial and error. Um, I could have done it on AutoCAD but it was easy just to bend it and try it but I uh, measured it uh, once I'd uh, got the angle right. Anyway I think that gives you some idea of uh, how I went about making it. Um, by the way uh, I saw this sort of device first on uh, Vimeo and um, there's a guy Edwin Bont had uh, made a little video of, uh, of what he'd made out of a couple of brackets. Anyway I hope you found that interesting. Um, thanks for watching. Bye bye.